Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Marlene and in today's video I have a boohoo haul for you. If plus size style, fashion and beauty is for you then make sure to smash the subscribe button in the corner and the notification bell so you know when I upload it next time and if you want to see more of me when I'm not prancing around here in my bedroom I'll leave links to all my social medias down in the description box with links to everything that I'm wearing as well as sharing and most importantly if you want to see how I style the pieces that I'm sharing with you here today not just in this haul but in every haul make sure to pop over and visit me on Instagram because that's where I share those photos. Now, the first thing I want to share with you is this absolutely adorable shirt. Now, it is a sheer shirt, meaning you can see through it, but I just love the design. Look, it has tiny little black hearts on it. It is a plain, a straight up, a straight down shirt. There isn't like much detail to it or anything like that. Um, we have the usual collar, buttoned down, and the cuffs are the usual buttons. Um, I just... I just think it's so pretty and I think it kind of goes well with the aesthetic that I want to keep in my wardrobe now, which is why I decided to pick this one up. I got this in a size 24 and I paid 18 euros and 80 cents for it. I actually think I could have sized down this shirt. Now it is a little bit static at the moment, so it's kind of clinging, but I still have tons of space left in it. It sits really, really nice. But it is a little bit big, especially in the sleeves as well. They're kind of oversized and fall over my hands. However, I do think it is a gorgeous, cute little shirt. I think I would probably give it a French tuck like that. I do think it's absolutely beautiful. Now, if you've been here before, you know I'm a little bit obsessed with anything that has kind of this leather look to it. And it comes to no surprise that I picked up a pair of leggings. Now, these are the ones they're called coded leggings. Um, so they're not like leather, but they do have that leather look. They do have a good bit of stretch in them, but it is an ordinary plain pair of leggings. Now, my problem with leggings are often the fact that I have quite slimmer angles. So they often sit and gate down at the bottom on me. Um, I picked these up in a size 22 and I paid 11 euros and 70 cents for them. Ooh, they are not so good, these leggings. Um, what can I say? They are basically too tight up around my backside and these are a size 22. I am purposely sized up. Um, they are simply just too tight on my backside. If I squatted, I would be very, very scared that I would uh, split them also because my usual problem they are way too wide around my angle. They are literally just sitting flapping out here. And then they're really tight on my thighs. As I say, they are just too tight over my backside. I would really, really worry that I would split these if I was to do a squat in them. This is quite strange actually, because trousers are rarely too small for me in the backside area. Now the waistband fit fine. I still have plenty of space up here. That's not a problem. It is simply just from here on the backside and down to the middle of my thighs. Meaning for once, they're not actually just cut for a pear shape, is what, which is what we normally run into. Um, I don't know, I'm kind of guessing someone got the measurements mixed up here somewhere. Next up, I actually picked up a pair of tights and I haven't even opened this pack yet and had a look at them. I am on the search for proper tights at the moment. Um, I've been trying a few from Amazon, which I will link down below because I stand by them. I think they're fantastic. I also bought a couple of pairs from Snag Tights on recommendations from some of the girls in my Facebook group. Self plug in, I'm linking the Facebook group here if you wanna join us. Um, the Snag Tights, I'm still on the fence about. I only tried one of the pairs that I picked up. But when I saw on Boohoo, they had tights. I thought, I dropped one. There was two in the pack. We'll just need the one. Um, when I saw they had them on Boohoo in the plus size section, I decided I was going to give them a go. Now, I don't have any details on them, but they do seem very stretchy. There isn't much to say about a pair of tights, really, is there? I got them in a size 20 to 22, meaning they should fit. And I paid seven pounds, so, sorry, it's euros, seven euros, 80 cents. And I can see there's two pairs in the pack. These tights actually feel really, really nice. They were good and stretchy to get them on. There was no like fighting to get into them. I got into them pretty easy. There's still a good bit of stretch in them, as you can see. Um, the only thing I have with these is the waistband part. Personally, I prefer when I can pull them up as high as my shapewear. So I want them all the way up here underneath my bust. 
but these ones stop dead in their tracks right there. There is no more fabric. It's simply just this piece here that's not long. I was gonna say long enough, but I suppose not everybody would want their tights up here. I do know that a lot of people get annoyed that their tights have to go all the way up there. Personal preference, so I'm just mentioning it. Other than that, they actually seem really, really nice. They are nice and soft and good and stretchy, and they actually fit my size 20, 22 body. So perfect. Next up, I picked up a skirt. This skirt is a size, 22 look at the sheer size of it now i'll put it around to the side right just to make sure we have enough space look at this i would say this would fit up to 28 30. this is massively big now it is i'll adjust the camera when i try it on but look it's it is kind of below the knee um i don't really know what to say about it it's fabric is nice enough. What did I pay for it? Size 22 and I paid 18 euros and 20 cents for it. Aesthetic wise, this skirt is everything I wanted it to be. It is a midi length skirt, which is what I was looking for. Um, and the print on it is just gorgeous. The fabric is really nice and soft. We just have this problem. I could fit Emma. In here next to me emma's my 17 year old daughter if you don't know already stick around and you'll soon meet her um but yeah me and em could both fit in here so it's just way too big as i said this one i would say a size 28 30 could fit into this um it's a shame because it is very cute the next thing i picked up is this sequin bodysuit now it does only have the sequins in the top part but this should be going around your waist um, without the sequins then kind of in your trouser bit, skirt bit, which I don't actually mind. It is a bit of a wrap top here. It does look to be quite open. We do have a zip at the back, but we do have two snaps down the bottom. Now, I am very sorry to tell you that I won't be trying this on for you. I should tell you what size I got it in. This is size 24, which is my usual size. As you know, if you've been here before, I paid 16 euros and 25 a cent for it, but I won't be trying it on for you. It covers absolutely nothing. I can't close it. I can put it on, but my entire chest area is literally spilling out and it's not long enough to close. So unfortunately, this one, I can't show it to you on my body. It is a gorgeous uh, bodysuit. The quality is really, really nice. But whatever it is with this bodysuit, it just doesn't go for me. You aren't really surprised that I picked up another jumper with animal print on, are you? I knew you wouldn't be. I don't know how many of these I have hanging in my wardrobe now. <laughs> I am obsessed with animal print cardigans and this one was no exception. It is a plain cardigan. We do have a drop shoulder, which I'm not a fan of. There is no closure on it. It is just kind of hanging straight down. No, no pockets, no nothing on it. But the knit is really, really nice. And it's really, really soft, even on the inside, which I love. I did get this one in a size 24, 26. I think the size before it was either 20, 22 or 22, 24. But as I'm a 24, I thought I'd rather size up and make sure that it was big enough than having to have it a little bit too snug. I only paid 19 euros and 76 cents for this. I wonder why it's 76. Don't know. Anyway, that's what I wrote down. Um, but I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I definitely think I could have taken this cardigan in a size smaller. It is very big and very oversized. I am normally a UK size 24, so the 26 was bound to be on the bigger side. It is absolutely fab though. It is nice and slouchy and soft and cuddly. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna have to think about whether or not I'm keeping it if I really need another animal print cardigan. But it is a gorgeous. If you, like me, are a plus size and especially a plus size apple, you will know that it's very difficult to get affordable belts for plus size for apple shapes. So when I saw that Boohoo had a small selection, I decided to pick up one and give it a go. Now, it is a black faux leather and it has this little bit of leather detail stamped into it. But what I love the most about this belt is the fact that the buckle is kind of flat. It is just two circles, um, so it's kind of one of those very 
trendy designs at the moment but it is a plain simple belt and we do have an extra loop for if we have anything spare this does however sit very loose and would very easily fall off the belt so that's just something to keep in mind the length of this belt is 135 centimeters it is stamped in the back in there so it should in theory be long enough for me but it was only five euros and 20 cents which is why i had to give it a go and if i can fit this i'm going back to get more right my belt hoops in these trousers are actually sitting down here so they'll be no good so i'm simply just going to swing this around where i would normally have my belt sitting which would be roughly about there. Now there isn't a lot of extra belt left, as you can tell. I'm literally using all the belts, um, but it does fit as it says in the back, it's 135 centimeters long. Now, the last thing I wanna share with you are these absolutely epically red trousers. Look at the color of these trousers. They're absolutely fantastic. Now they are like a pair of dress trousers, um, I believe there'd be about angle grazers, but look at this. They are really nice and stretchy. The fabric is this gorgeous fabric. Um, I assume it's a polyester, but it's so nice and so soft. Now, the detail I love the most about these trousers are the fact that they come with a belt in the same color. Now, it's not completely closed. It's easier to show you when I put them on. But I love that. We have functioning pockets on the front, plain on the back. And I suppose the belt, you can take it off because it's just sitting on like a belt in the loops. I got these in a size 22 and I paid 22 euros and 70 cents for them. Oh my God, do I love these trousers. Oh, they are so soft. They are so stretchy. The fabric, the whole fabric in them are just so lovely and stretchy. It feels like I'm wearing a pair of tracksuit bottoms, only I'm wearing dress trousers. The length of them are a wee bit longer than I thought they were going to be. I thought they were going to be angle graces, but they go just to above my foot. I really like that length. Uh, they fit me absolutely perfect, as always. I do always have a little bit of spare fabric around my backside because I have a very flat bottom. Now, what really makes these trousers are definitely the belt detail. I just love this belt and the fact that it matches the trousers perfect is just, it's divine. I absolutely love these trousers. I'm not even bothered getting changed. No. We have come to the end of another haul. Like my last Boohoo haul, this one here is a bit of a mixed bag. I got some absolutely smashing piece in, pieces in there. The trousers, I love the cardigan as well, but then you have the pieces that just don't work, like the bodysuit and the leggings. So it's kind of all a bit of a mixed bag. If you want to know how I get on with wearing the tights, you know, a good wear test, make sure to join me on Instagram and in my Facebook group, because that is where I reveal those sort of things. But listen, that is it. You made it this far. If you sat through the ads for me, thank you very much. That is how you are helping me keep this channel going. But listen, with all that said and done, thank you for watching. Have a happy Christmas and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.